He called himself a singer of sad songs. He was the last of the great romantics. In his time a remarkable conductor, he's remembered as one of the finest pianists in the history of music. He was born in Russia in 1873 and left his homeland forever in 1917. From youth to old age, Rachmaninoff and the piano were photographed together. At the Moscow Conservatoire, his unique gifts as a performer had been recognized by Tchaikovsky. And it was his vast repertoire of keyboard works which revealed both his technique and his personality as a creative artist. the epitome of a gentleman or a byron in Russian. You know, he was slender, he was tall, he had a very good conservative taste for dressing. It was always, you know, beautifully done properly from Savile Road, I don't know. And um, was always, he looked absolutely perfect to my way of thinking. He was not at all gloomy. It's all rubbish to say that. Um, he loved Armenian and Jewish jokes, and he laughed his head off uh, when somebody told him a new one. And he had a very, very uh, special movement. You know, he had that short hair. Irina, his daughter, told me, no father has two hairs. One is silk, and the other one is uh, velvet. And it's really, it was like that. It was silky, and when you went against it, it was like velvet. <laughs> 